One watch worth $10,000 or 10 watches worth 1,000 each. What's your pick? It's 1.45 p.m. Let's get down to business. All right, guys, it is time for a T3 watch rant. It is Friday, it's beautiful out, let's do this. So one watch worth $10,000 or 10 watches worth $1,000, what is my pick? I get this question all the time and for me, the answer is actually really simple. Neither. Buying watches based upon a monetary goal or quantitative goal is just silly. And listen, I get it. Having a budget is smart. Choosing a watch based around a certain price range so you don't break the bank is just good shopping. But aiming to buy a $10,000 watch simply because it costs $10,000 What's the point? I'd say it's just as pointless as aiming to buy a certain number of watches. And whenever I say that, people are like, well, time teller, you own a bunch of watches. You have a bunch of watches. What, what do you mean by that? Well, it's true. I have a bunch of watches, but it's not because I have some weird goal to acquire a certain amount of watches. I'm not just trying to fill up numerous watch boxes. I'm just trying to buy the watches I like. And therein lies the whole point of what I'm talking about. Buy the watches you like, okay? I buy the watches I like and it just just so happens that I am cursed with finding more and more watches that I like. It, it is terrible. Someone help me, please. I built this channel around educating other watch enthusiasts and sharing my passion with other watch enthusiasts. But the truth is, just never, never, ever get into watch collecting because it is a never ending black hole. It's addictive, okay? It is incredibly addictive. Watch collecting is just terrible. You're gonna throw your money at watches. You're, it's never gonna end. You're always gonna find a watch you want. Just be smart, take your time, educate yourself, don't impulse buy, and uh, yeah, just learn what you like, what you want, and spend your money wisely. So guys, all in all, I know this T3 watch rant is kind of anticlimactic. Like there's not a huge bombshell that's being dropped. I'm not going crazy here. I just wanted to film this so I could record it, get it up on the channel, Channel, so maybe someone in the future can kind of use it as a reference. All I'm saying is don't aim to buy an expensive watch in hopes of impressing other people. Don't aim to acquire a large amount of watches in hopes of impressing other people. Just have fun with the hobby and buy the watches you want. I think a lot of us out here are kind of on the same page, but again, there are some outliers that keep asking me this question and I don't want them to get caught up in, in all the hype. I know you see it on social media, people showing off their really expensive watches and hey, some of the watches I like are very expensive. Some of the watches I own are quite expensive, but that's not the point. The point is just to acquire what makes you happy. So guys, I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your collection or how to spend your money. All I can do on this channel is kind of share my point of view. And hopefully this video has helped you out. And if it's helped you out, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And yeah, enjoy your weekend. All right, well, if you enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing to the channel because there's a whole lot more where that came from. Also, I have no idea how YouTube works yet. Hopefully in the future, I'll get the hang of it. But I think there should be some recommended videos for you to watch. There might be one over on this side of the screen. There might be one over on this side of the screen. Who knows where they're going to be? YouTube's always changing. Life is always changing. You know, there's a lot to learn about life. Um, we'll save this for another episode. Anyway, click one of these videos, watch it, subscribe to the channel. I love you.